Hello, it's Steve White, SteveWhite's89. So yesterday I was minding my own business and I stumbled across a video about Janet Jackson releasing a new album and a new tour. And I got all excited because I've been dealing with so much negative stuff with Madonna and I just sort of realised I was doing that thing a lot of Madonna, Madonna fans do. They seem to forget that other people exist. Because um, I only was talking about her and looking at her stuff and I kind of forgot how much I kind of loved Janet. Um, <laughs> Um, I'd been a fan for years, but I had lost touch. I um, I did video, and I was just talking about stuff, and I was really excited at first, because I thought the tour was going to be world tour, and then I noticed it just said tour, like American tour, and they only had American dates, and I thought, ah, crap. But then I thought, it's okay, you'll still get it on video or something. And then some nice Janet fans came into my comments and told me that apparently I don't know anything about Janet, because I didn't realise that she is a world tour, um, she has stated that they're going to release dates later, um, and that she has been on tour the last couple of years. See, I, I knew she had a baby, and she cancelled a tour because of the baby, and I thought she'd just been a mum since then. I didn't realise she'd actually gone on tour, and I realised, oh, um, yeah, she did a residency in Las Vegas in 2019 for a few months. Um, early in the year, and then she did a small tour to commemorate the 30th anniversary of um, um, Rhythm Nation. <laughs> and I didn't even realise. Now, there was an event in Melbourne that Janet came to, and it was, um, what was it? It was part of R&B Friday Live, and um, it was, seemed like a festival thing, and I didn't hear about it until a day or two before it was happening, and I was just too late to, to do it. And I thought, well, it would have been great, but it probably wasn't a full show because it's part of like a festival or there's other performers there and stuff. So I wasn't too upset that I missed it. And then I discovered it was actually a freaking tour. She did a tour, um, not a big tour. Actually, it's a really small tour now I look at it. Um, she, she did Welsh, San Francisco. Then she came to Australia, did Perth, Melbourne, Adelaide, Brisbane, Sydney and Auckland. Um, although I don't really think they should count. Oh, it's all Australasia, so yeah, it's all counting the same thing, New Zealand and Australia together. And then she did three dates in Honolulu. And I'm like, why did we get, like, this special little, like, why did we get that bit of attention? And I didn't even know it was happening. By the time I found out it was happening, it was like Friday, it was on the next day, and there was just no time to do anything. And I was just sort of convinced myself it was okay because it wasn't like a, a, a proper tour. And then I sort of realised it kind of what kind of was I guess it was her act taken on the road or the the, the set list seems to be a, a lot of um, just rhythm nations I'm not sure but either way um, I was doing my workout today watching the view as I do when I work out and what did I see but Janet pops up and like like someone with some class she showed up with tickets for everyone and she showed up with tickets for Whoopi because poor Whoopi was so sick she only died the other year and um, she couldn't see Janet's concert and she was apparently lying in bed pissed that she couldn't get up and go to the concert. So Janet wanted to make sure she came to the concert and she brought tickets for everyone in the audience. So, of course, everyone went at batshit because um, no one knew she was going to be there. Um, she looked fabulous, uh, blah, 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 blah. And then I saw another interview of her live with Ryan Seacrest. Now, I've never really liked Ryan Seacrest, probably because I'm a Kathy Griffin fan and she hates him, so I've only ever heard trash about him. I've never heard anything good about him. Um, and I watched the interview with him and that was cool. He... he he, he talked about casingles. I'm like, what's a casingle? Um, but yeah, and she did reveal in that that there are dates for... It is a world tour. She was referred to as a world tour. And there are dates that are going to be announced later. Because people said, oh, it's on Instagram. It's on... She's mentioned it here and there. And I looked... I couldn't find anywhere where it was in writing from a formal source from Janet. So I was thinking, ah, this is just a rumour. People are torturing me. She's not going to tour the world. But she is, so she might come to Australia. I mean, she came... But then again, the fact she came just last time, pretty much, she, actually, she just went to New Zealand, Australia, and Honolulu. Everyone else, everywhere else, she didn't. She just went <coughs> United States. So maybe we've had a bit of attention from her. She may not include us in the world tour, but I'm hoping either way. But if I don't get it, there'll still be a really good video because, as much as I loved seeing her up close and personal, because I was fortunate enough to actually be towards the front of that show. The show itself was very basic and pared down um, because it was supposed to be set in a small theatre setting, um, like kind of like Madame X. But um, it ended up being 
all, all three, a whole bunch of dates were all crammed into one Rod Laver Arena event because she had to get back to Australia, um, back to America sooner than planned so she could um, be at the trial of Michael's doctor. So that kind of screwed everything up and I had bad seats at the back. Fortunately, a friend gave me good seats down the front and it was great. But the show itself, she did, she, I think she maybe changed her clothes once. She pretty much just wore the same outfit the whole time. And she was great, but I, you, we didn't get the whole show. So I still haven't seen the whole Janet Jackson production. Um, so I am hoping to see that at some point. Hopefully on this tour, um, if not the next one. She, she, does, she does seem to pay us more attention than some other divas um, more regularly. So I should probably be more hopeful. And she's not retiring anytime soon. Um, so yeah, um, I'm just excited now to have it confirmed. It is a world tour. She is going to come. And it was just great to see her on The View. Um, like I said, I've, I've been dealing with um, Madonna news and stuff and just talking about Madonna stuff because I'm a huge Madonna fan. I've always sort of worshipped her. Um, and I started to sort of realise sh she's not that great. Um, I mean, she's a great artist, but she's not always the greatest to her fans. And the way they did a lot of stuff on the latest tour I haven't been happy with and I criticised and a lot of fans have attacked me. I, I got... I got a death threat from someone. I, I still don't know if it was a Star Trek fan or a Madonna fan. They, they were very specific about what should happen to me, how I should be shot, but um, they didn't actually say why. So I'm still not sure if it was a Madonna fan or a Star Trek fan, But because um, I was criticising Star Trek Discovery at the same time as I was criticising Madonna. But either way, they're really vicious. And I know I'm ugly, but I don't need to be told repeatedly by these people as some sort of... Um, I don't know, it's like, you hate Madonna, you're ugly. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> what? But, um, yeah, so I'm just looking forward to talking about Janet stuff um, because I'm sure stuff is going to happen that is just going to make me happy and I'm just going to want to talk about stuff. So, um, although I'm a little bit worried that the album she... I heard... I, I sort of jokingly said I probably won't come out till May because she tours in June. And then she said I might come out before the end of the tour like she's going to be letting tracks out, like she'll be having tracks in the tour that will be in the album, almost like promotion for the album. Like, no, I want, a, I want the fucking album before the concert so I can get all excited about the album and then watch the concert later, probably on DVD if she doesn't tour or, or when it eventually gets here. So I'm hoping that she was just teasing. But um, she didn't give away a lot, um, which is probably best. And um, I'm running out of stuff to talk about. I just, um, I just loved seeing her on... TV. She does very good interviews. She's very sweet. She always makes everyone listen to her and pay attention um, in a very clever way by being um, so quiet and um, she's just got a way about her which is so much more um, less abrasive than other divas. Um, I mean, I can't stand Mariah Carey. I love her voice but I can't stand seeing her in interviews. Um, Madonna just shits on everyone. I mean, she does it like an absolute bitch boss but or boss bitch, or however you want to put that, but still, it grates on you eventually. At some point, I just want to say to her, can you just be nice to people, perhaps? Just just be nice. Like, look at Janet, she's nice. It hasn't hurt her career. Um, <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I'm a little bit embarrassed that I didn't know she had been, um, she'd done a residency and uh, a tour in America, um, and that when she came to Australia, it actually was part of that tour. Um, so, and also, I screwed up with... Her albums, I forgot that Discipline came out in between 20 Year Old and um, Unbreakable because um, it just seemed like that that was a newer album, um, 20 Year Old, I don't know why. Um, I think because um, um, uh, <laughs> Discipline had more of an effect on me, the song, I really enjoyed it, so I really remembered that and it seemed older or something, I don't know, but either way, I'm looking forward to the album, I'm looking forward to the tour, I'm looking forward to talking about some Janet stuff, I'm going to do a video about just stuff, so it's good, I, I've decided I'm going to focus on just things that I like, things that make me happy in general, not just Star Trek and Madonna, just whatever, if Kylie does something funny, I'm going to do a fucking video, if Janet does something awesome, I'm going to do a video, whatever I feel like talking about, you know, I'm not monetized. I'm not a celebrity. No one's listening to me. I'm just doing this for my own enjoyment and therapy, basically. I just like talking about crap. So um, I'm going to go because I've already talked nine minutes, which was way too long. Um, but yes, I'm still so excited. I spent the day, um, one last thing, I did spend the day watching some old Janet videos, which is really great because I watched one of the first videos of hers I, of hers I ever saw, which was Love Will Never Do Without You. 
And before I was young, I didn't even know I was gay yet, but looking at the way Herbert shot those men's bodies and the video itself was just so beautiful. Um, it was really great to watch that again. Um, and a few others here and there. I'm going to have a little marathon and watch every single video of hers and all the tours that I have. I'm only missing one. Um, so I'm going to have a little Janet marathon in the very near future and I might talk a little bit about her career and what I think of some of her uh, videos and songs and albums and stuff just, just for the fun of it. But I'm going to go. If you've listened this long, thanks. Feel free to share, like, comment. Comments are fun. Thanks. Bye.